I come from a long line of nobility. Through the valiant efforts of the Imperial and Volunteer Forces, Zhang Jiao, founder of the Way of Peace, is defeated. The Yellow Turban Rebellion is ended. But the longed-for peace did not return. At the capital of Luoyang, the eunuchs faced off against the faction made up of the relatives of the Emperor. Using this as an excuse, Yuan Chao and others raid the Imperial Palace, killing the eunuchs. Under cover of this confusion, Dong Zhuo of Xilian leads his forces to the capital. He seizes control of the Emperor, appoints himself Prime Minister, and proceeds to take control and to tyrannize the country. The Lords soon began to feel themselves in danger. Emperor Shao is a fool. It is his ignorance which has led to war. It is my belief that the wise Liu Shi is a far more appropriate choice for the position of Emperor. I take it there are no objections. In that case, I will proceed with the coronation. Wait, Dong Zhuo. Emperor Shao has only just been crowned. How can the fault possibly lie with him? Isn't the strife afflicting the land the corruption and manipulation of those who move for their own advantage? Those like you? How dare you! There are consequences to accusing me of such heinous crimes. Yuan Shao. He enjoyed immense popularity and support as a nobleman from the esteemed Yuan family and was a childhood friend of Cao Cao. Numerous voices of support rallied around Yuan Shao when Dong Zhuo's tyranny reached its zenith. Despite his concerns, Yuan Shao set out to eliminate the threat posed by Dong Zhuo. Uh, excuse me, I must take my leave. Someone have that man executed! Wait, please! Master Yuan Shao is the nephew of Master Yuan Kui, one of the three excellencies and hails from the noble and unimpeachable Yuan clan. If he is executed, there will be no way to avoid retribution from those affiliated with the Yuan. Ah! Then forget it. No matter what Yuan Shao has planned, it will work now that Lu Bu is by my side. Curses! That blasted Dong Zhuo has used the confusion to seize control of the Emperor. All our efforts in getting rid of the Ten Eunuchs have been wasted. Any within the palace who dared stand up to his tyranny have been executed. The rest are all too fearful to do anything about it. This is most lamentable. We must slay him with all haste and rescue the Emperor! You look like you've got your hands full, Yuan Shao. Surely you cannot expect me to just stand idly by and watch while Dong Zhuo treats the Imperial Court like his own plaything? You are perhaps the only person who can publicly call out Dong Zhuo for his actions. Hmm. I am merely living my life in a way that befits one of my noble standing. That is most admirable of you, Yuan Shao. So, when are you planning to actually make your move? 
Everybody knows you are the leader behind the anti-Dong Zhuo movement. If you do not participate, we will likely miss out on our best opportunity. Well, it's not as easy as you make it sound. Dong Zhuo is protected by the mighty Lu Bu. We have to find some way of getting past him first. Hmm. There are two ways to get rid of Dong Zhuo. We can raise an even larger army to crush him, or we can use more subtle methods to bring him down from within. Without a well-known name or sufficient military strength to rely on, my options are limited. However, that is not the case for you. You have both in abundance. He does not understand my position. As a nobleman, I have certain responsibilities and cannot afford to take action lightly. But that Cao Cao, he is certainly up to something. The palace is in an uproar once more. Has Dong Zhuo done something again? Master Yuan Shao, I bring news. Master Cao Cao appears to have attempted to assassinate Master Dong Zhuo. Uh, assassinate? That fool, Cao Cao. Why did he do something so reckless without consulting me? Master Cao Cao's plan was thwarted by Master Lu Bu, and he was forced to flee. Master Dong Zhuo's anger is understandably significant, as you are close to Master Cao Cao. He suspects your involvement. Those in the palace loyal to the Yuan clan managed to calm him somewhat. But he has assigned you to the post of ambassador to Bohai. Ugh. Dong Zhuo is making sure I am as far from Luo Yang as possible, so that I am not in a position to get in his way. Lord Yuan Chao, this letter was just thrown into the grounds of your mansion. I dare say this is Cao Cao's doing. He's always ready with a plan for evil doing. Let me see what it says. Cao Cao's plan to assassinate the tyrant has failed, and the road to peace is in peril. The only hero who can save our land now is Yuan Shao. If Yuan Shao were to issue a call to arms in his name, then warriors from across the land would surely respond to that call, and we could defeat the tyrant. Ha! Oh, that is absolutely true. If you were to make a rallying cry, my lord, the mightiest warriors in the land could hardly fail to answer. But if he were to stand at the head of the forces against Dong Zhuo, Lord Yuan Shao's very life would be in grave danger. No, Feng Ji. The land is in crisis. If my noble presence is needed to rescue the Han court in its hour of need, then I would be glad to do my part. I will send a missive across the land. I will gather in Xingyang those who still have faith in the Han imperial court, and together we will wage war against Dong Zhuo! Of course, my lord. I'll make the preparations at once. I must travel to Xingyang and raise my family's noble banner across the tyranny of Dong Zhuo. I will leave Luo Young for now, but I swear I will return and save the Emperor! When that happens, Dong Zhuo's reign of terror will be at an end, and the land will know peace once more! The time has come!
You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. Hey! Get on in here! Come again! I never expected so many mighty warriors to heed my call. I cannot express the extent of my gratitude. It is we who should be thanking you, my lord. We appreciate you finally being the one to do something about Dong Zhuo. I have brought along a man I trust to help us in our mission to bring an end to Dong Zhuo's tyranny. Please use him as you see fit. My name is Liu Bei. I was most moved by the loyalty you showed to the Han, and the compassion you showed to the struggling people, Master Yuan Shao. I may not be capable of much, but what strength I and my two sworn brothers have is at your service. Hmm. <laughs> this is all very ostentatious of you, Chao. Sending off such an emotionally laden missive to stir up trouble in the land. It hardly seems the sort of behavior one would expect from a member of the noble Yuan clan. Master Yuan Shu, do you not think that is a little disrespectful? In a time in which most men shrink in fear from Dong Zhuo, Master Yuan Shao has stood up most courageously in resistance. He is a hero of our age. No, no, my cousin has a point. Dong Zhuo's tyranny has led to disillusionment amongst the people, and the majesty of the Han Imperial Court has been sullied. As a member of the UN clan, which has always served the national interest, I should have taken a stand against Dong Zhuo long ago! Oh, my lord! Such nobility and grace. <laughs> this is a joke. Now, that we have all gathered in this manner, it would be appropriate to select a leader of our coalition. I believe that I am the obvious choice as representative of the main branch of the Yuan clan. No, I believe Master Yuan Zhao should receive that honor. He is the one who brought this coalition together in the first place. What does everyone else think? Absolutely. Indeed, it could be no one but Master Yuan Shao. How dare you all! Mm. Very well. I shall bear the responsibility of the nobility and lead this mighty coalition. You are not but a bastard child of this clan. 
yet you act like you are in charge. I will not forget this. You can count on that. Brave warriors who have gathered under my banner, we will attack Luo Yang and slay Dong Zhuo. Assist our allies. Hurry! The time has come! You're not even worth my time, I see. Even together, rats are still rats. Don't think you're getting through Sushui, Dick, or pull out. Insolent fool! Oh, no. Halt! The enemy is on its way here! Take defensive position! We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. The Coalition Army's advance will be stopped here at Sushui Gate. No one's getting by me. There you are, you sniveling cowards! Archer unit! Him from the battlements! Now bring your end! Prepare to die! Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might! They're aiming for the archers? Just as we planned then! Take them all out! Our objective has been decided! All units! Forward! This is bad. Without me, there is no one to give orders to the archers. Our allies in front of Sushui Gate have been defeated. We will avenge them. Cross the gate and defeat the coalition. Don't waste our allies' hard work. We've brought the rams. Use these to smash the gates in. Battering rams. More dirty tricks. Everyone, stop them in their tracks. The Rams have opened Sushui Gate. Everyone, this is our chance. Attack! Curse you! This is in the hands of my allies now. Gung Ji's been defeated? Then I'll have to take care of this myself. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. I never thought I could be beaten. The Coalition Army is tougher than I thought. Yet another enemy officer bows before me! I am a Yuan. Victory is inevitable. Wow. That was awesome. I worked up just watching you. Well done. I have enjoyed watching you fight. Thank you.
The time has come! will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! Save us! Your village is being pillaged by the forces of Dong Zhuo! This is our most precious treasure. <laughs> Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! I am a Yuan. Victory is inevitable. Marvel at your skills.
We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Come, peons. Entertain me. among horses. That's him. Let's get out of here. There's no way we will survive. <laughs> Lu Yang is just beyond Gulao Gate. But first, he has to fight the demon Lu Bu. is the perfect opportunity to strike. Infinite fool! Nothing can stop our forces! Blind them with our fury! They will never pass Hulao Gate! Attack from the walls and wipe them out! You have courage to stand before me, but no mere insects such as yourself will pass through the Lao Gate. It's time to take the attack to the enemy! Forward! It's time to take the attack to the enemy! Forward! The enemy is going to attack us here! Everyone, prepare to defend this spot! Come, peons, entertain me. This is the perfect opportunity to strike.
Luo Yang is just beyond Hulao Gate. But first, he has to fight the demon Lu Bu. Nothing can stop our forces. Blind them with our fury. They will never pass Hu Lao Gate! Attack from the walls and wipe them out! Insolent fool! You have courage to stand before me, but no mere insects such as yourself will pass through Hu Lao Gate. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. It is time to take the attack to the enemy. It's time to take the attack to the enemy. The enemy is going to attack us here! Everyone prepare to defend this spot! You're not even worth my time! I be beaten by losers who could not even defeat Dong Zhuo. Next time we meet, your lives will be over. Ah, Lu Bu has been defeated. Let's sweep on into Luoyang. Such impressive might. I must begrudgingly respect your ability. I am a Yuan. Victory is inevitable. Well done. I have enjoyed watching you fight. Yet another enemy officer bows before me. Excellent. Your prowess in battle is extraordinary. We move! Vermin. I won't let you stand in the way of my dream. A land of debauchery and hiddenness. The gates are tough, but the weapons can break through. Rams, forward! Front gates are being protected by fences. The rams aren't making much progress. Reinforcements have arrived for the mountain base. We 
shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. of siege weaponry. Then, we must begin by protecting the battering rams. There's an annoying blast glittering about. Find it and crush it. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. You can have Lo Yang. We'll retreat to Chang'an. We have slain the traitor Dong Zhuo and reclaimed control over Luo Yang. This is a famous victory! Sing out in triumph, men! Is this how you repay me? Our oath? Ah, don't make me laugh. This is where you must die. You damn minx! You planned this, didn't you? Yuan Shao, you still haven't made your move yet? The longer we wait, the more time the enemy has to join up in Liang Province, 
and make it that much harder to slay Dong Zhuo. I... I know that! But our men are fatigued from constant travel. We must first secure a stable supply of provisions and ensure that our men are fully fit and ready. Ah, Lord Yuan Chao, I bring news. Liu Bu has instigated a rebellion in Chang'an. Deng Zhuo is said to have been slain. Is this true? So, Lu Bu beat us to the punch and just removed the reason all of us have gathered here. It appears the days of this coalition are numbered. There are other things I must attend to. Please excuse me, Yuan Shao. Ha! Huh. That man is always in such a hurry. I am glad that Dong Zhuo has been slain, but I cannot imagine that Lu Bu will take over in his place. This land may be destined for a longer period of war yet. Lord Yuan Shao, there was in fact one other matter that I wanted to speak to you about. Yes? What is it? Well, there are rumors circulating that Master Sun Jian has found the Imperial Seal. Really? The legendary Imperial Seal, symbol of the one true Emperor, handed down from generation to generation? If that's true, we need to ensure the seal is returned to His Majesty, but I fear that won't be possible right now. Until then, it is only right that I hold the seal, since I'm the leader of our coalition. While Master Sun Jian has no official position within the court, he has achieved feats of remarkable merit in recent times. Now that Yan Province, home of the Yuan Clan, has been lost to Master Yuan Shu, I believe it would be wise to form a close alliance with Master Sun Jian. <laughs> it is certainly worth my consideration. We must find him as quickly as we can. The traitor Dong Zhuo has been slain. This should bring peace to the land for the time being. You fought well, Sun Jian. I have heard all about the courage you showed on the battlefield. Yes, my lord. But who would have thought Lu Bu would turn on Dong Zhuo? It was actually somewhat disappointing for me. I had planned to be the one to slay Dong Zhuo myself. But Sun Jian, I have summoned you here not to talk about the past, but the future. Dong Zhuo has fallen, and the coalition army has disbanded. But I sense disquiet and unease from all the regional warlords as they return to their homes. If we do nothing about this, it will lead to the appearance of others like Dong Zhuo, who will use the Emperor and the land for their own gain. Yuan Shu, in particular, appears to harbor great resentment toward me. If, on the off chance, it should come to pass that he and I were to go to war against one another, you must side with me. I promise to treat you well. Master Yuan Shao, I am honored that you have summoned us here today. However, we are a small force that only counts Shengsha amongst its land holdings. I doubt that we can help you. But surely... Is that all you wish to discuss? If so, then you will have to excuse me, as I have some urgent matters to attend to. Wait right there! You are hiding something from me, I can tell! You must be honest and show me that you are loyal to me as the leader of the Coalition Army. If you refuse, I will know that you are just another traitorous bandit trying to steal the Emperor's treasure. I have no idea what you are talking about. That greedy country bumpkin, he plans to run off with the Imperial Seal. We have to stop him at once. Ho, ho, ho. What a hypocrite you are! 
How can you spout such garbage when we all know that you are the one who wishes to keep the seal for himself? Sun Jian says he knows nothing about the Emperor's treasure. It is most unbefitting for a member of the Yuan clan to be so envious of another's success, you know? What? Don't you worry. I'll apologize to Sun Jian on your behalf. Just be grateful that I'm always here to bail you out. <laughs> The Emperor is in Chang'an, so everyone suddenly starts showing their true colors. But if they all move their troops about for their own selfish ambitions, the chaos in the land will only deepen. So it is imperative that I, as a true nobleman, seize this opportunity to rise, rule the land, and bring peace to the people. Someone! My lord, make preparations. We are to return to Yeh. <laughs> <laughs>